Welcome to my channel. Check out my YouTube channel, Honeybee Tech. Another day in the office, checking on my hives, doing a few experiments. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to my channels. This is the two jars of uh, Scott Brothers Bullseye Mints that I've got. Cost about $17 for uh, postage. Pretty expensive. This packet of uh, Jake's Candy from Bundaberg. Pe peppermint Bullseyes cost about five dollars, whereas this bulk lot of Bullseye Peppermint Mints is a kilo and that cost the same cost as the Scott Brothers and there's plus postage on top of that. So this lot here is a kilo in weight, 17, about seventeen dollars. I've just tasted the uh, the, the uh, Scott Brothers peppermints and uh, I reckon that the local uh, white peppermints are a lot stronger but uh, these peppermints is going to be tested in or experimented in the uh, honey production hives. Subscribe to learn more. Oh, come on in. Come on in, beetle. Look, beetle. Beetle, we got, finally got some beetle. Oh, that's a nice novel sight. Yeah. I haven't seen a beetle all day. Yeah, what do they look like, eh? Well, hey, how good is that? Peppermints work. Yep, we haven't had peppermints in here. No, I know. That's <laughs> why. But I haven't seen a beetle in any other hive no. all day. No. Oh, boy. How brilliant. Right, so this this is the uh, Scott Brothers bullseye bullseyes that we're going to be using. All right, come on in. Just, just. So we're going, going to uh, we've got to lift lift this here to get get them in. Stick them under the frame. Yeah, under the frame yeah. and squeeze it back in. I'll put this one in here. Actually, that's easiest where the beetle traps are because it's already spread a bit, isn't yeah. it? Double jeopardy. Double jeopardy, yep. I didn't get three yet, did I? Can't count. This one here is a double double brood super. That's why there's no excluder on, on the bottom here. Oh, that's no good. What's the problem out? Oh just the, the green green drone frame was right to the outside wall so the bees couldn't oh. get to the outside. Uh, No good if the bees can't get get to get to the, get to that. Because the bee will get in there and that'll they'll play havoc with it. But why wouldn't it stay normally? Well, because it, it, because plastic springs are building in the cold. Oh, okay. Some people hug trees. Yeah, you hug. Some people hug trees. You yeah. hug bees. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Right, so this is the honey super and the top uh, fruit. How can more you be beetle, sure? Look, look, more beetle, come on in, more oh, beetle. Oh wow, yeah. Put more beetle. Yeah, I'll oh, kill. Yeah, Peppermints, quite, yeah, yep, lots. Quite a few. 
This is a double brood super and it's got bees nearly all the way across here so we'll leave it go for another another couple of brood changes and see how we go. But peppermint's definitely. It definitely needs peppermint, eh? Yeah. So Al, how could this, you be this, sure? This, this is a drone frame so we'll move the honey out and so we can see it gets, get some drones starting to be uh, red. Yep, that's Ooh, brood there. That's great. Brood, yep, beautiful. Beautiful. Yep, beautiful. Right, so I'll put this drone, put this drone frame in here. So they start, so they, they start rearing some drones for me. So do you reckon the queen's in the top? Yes, yeah, she's she's up. Whenever you have double brood, the queen queen's always, always up the top. Yeah, always mm. come up the top. Yep. I was wondering why you were being so hasty I'm down just, below. I'm just trying to get some extra bees. Yeah. So, so it's actually working here. And there's obviously a queen. Yep, we saw, we saw a lot, lot of seal brood there. Mm. One. <laughs> can't, can't eat it. <laughs> Potentially one for you, one for the bees. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's interesting to see in the nukes how the some of the peppermints were hardly touched yeah. and others were just disappeared. Yep. So I'm going around. But the beetles don't touch the peppermints, do they? It's just the aroma I that I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's something I don't know. Can't tell you. Right. Oh, we'll put an extra one in here for the fun of it. Soon as got it out. Just for something different. Right, okay. Because of the very cold winter this year, I am using uh, double brood very much to try and keep as much warmth in the brood super as I can. I should be on camera. Whoop! <laughs> oh, geez, they, they break into pieces quite easily. Yeah, they? they're fragile. Those ones. Yeah. I didn't dare bite down on one though. That big one you gave me. Didn't I it? couldn't quite breathe with it in my mouth, but I couldn't bite down on it. They're hard, eh? Mm. Getting close up to these? Yeah. There's not, not much act activity up here. Mm. This is our new way of uh, fitting the M-locks. Yeah, up there, yeah, that's it. Now pull it up that. No, it's not tight enough. But I've got to do another one. Oh, that should be okay. Beauty. So uh, we've done all the uh, all the honey hives at the three different apiary sites uh, with the uh, 
big bullseye mints. Put, put two in the front, two in the back in each super. So we'll see how they go. We only saw a few beetles in, in a few of the hives. Uh, some hives had no uh, small hive beetle in them at all. So in fact, where there were no bullseyes in the honey hives, there were lots of beetles. So now we've put bullseyes in and we'll see you next week. Yep? Yep, for okay. sure. Done. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to my channel to help it grow. Thanks for watching.